Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. We got a couple commanders to take out. We're on our way to the American Bank building, I think it is. Horton and the rest of the resistance is pulled up there, I believe. Something I noticed only after I finished recording the last episode and was editing it is right in front of me was, and now is, a rat friend. Just hanging out there, cleaning their head. Or headbanging. Maybe they're listening to some sweet rat tunes. Are they going to run away when I get closer? Hey, friend. Bye. I wonder how often they show up. I feel like somewhat often I've heard them or noticed them in some way. So there's probably a bunch of other times that I just totally missed it. Another rat friend. I guess there's more than one rat friend, or that's the same one and it just moved over here. Very possible. Another rat! Or the same rat. Ah. Weapon kit. What should I get? Oh, I think I already know, actually. Should I get the spring loader for the conf pistol? It'll allow me to charge up three shots. Is that overkill, though? No, that's not overkill, is it? Nah, let's get it. I can use that against really heavy targets. So, where do I go from here? Oh, maybe I need to use my abilities. Yeah. Gotta remember I have them. Oh, sweet, I needed more ammunition for the assault rifle. Oh, I think this was an alternate path. I could probably squeeze under here. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh. Yes, I can. Two of them. Huh. That didn't go how I planned, but it worked. I do have the magnum rounds on, yeah? Yeah, I do. Here. They must be up above somewhere. Someone heard sound. Yeah, I think from up above, though. I don't think they'll be able to get down here. Probably stuck up in their sector. Look at those light shafts. Okay then. Didn't mean to do that. Shit. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Just took like five shotgun shots to the front and the back, I think. Okay. Well, maybe I'll be a little bit more stealthy this time. Or, you know what? Do I want to be more stealthy? Do I? Do I actually want to? I think it actually might be fun not to be stealthy. Let's try it. so many of them. Wow. Uh, shotgun really sucks from anything but a close range, as you'd probably expect. Worked pretty damn well for this situation, though, for the most part. Another try. Where's that commander? I'm close. I'm very close to them. They're probably upstairs. There you are, you fucker. Feels nice to do a little bit of a different playstyle. Not so much taking cover or using the assault rifles. I don't use the shotguns enough. Most of the time, they're just not the best option. God, look at how much carnage I made. Let me take a look around and see if there's any upgrade kits or anything like that. No upgrade kits, but got a bunch of equipment. Surprisingly, no notes. Try to find some notes around here. Alright, I think we need to go here. Yep, and I went up there before. Right, crane. Up and running. Went up there before and said I had to power it up. Now it's powered, I can go there, get to the other side, and that should take me further on somewhere. Clan endorses the new regime. Of course they do. You can read that if you'd like. Uh, <laughs> I think I made it go the wrong way. We are moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. Wyatt is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but... I think the pregnancy is making me a little... Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> excited. <clears throat> oh god, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Back sauce. <laughs> Where if I can get up there? I mean, there's obviously nothing actually up there, but nonetheless. Uh, okay. I don't think this is a shotgun situation. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, what do I want to use? Let's let's get creative. Let's use this thing. Whoa!
Yeah, with this difficulty, I gotta make sure I get, like, every little piece of armor and health possible before I continue on to the next spot. Secrets. Grenades. Oh, actually, I don't need grenades. Did I see a nuke? Eh, sort of. Star card. Zack Frey. Wow, there's blood all the way up here, almost on the ceiling. Did I do that? Trapped. Looks like I gotta blast my way out. Wait a minute, so you can go through these things. You just gotta blast through them with that thing, not with, uh, I was thinking you could break them like this. So there's at least one of these that we've seen that I could have gotten through. I wonder what was inside of it. Alright. Wait. Or am I supposed to blast this? Maybe this is the hint that I can use it to blast both. Huh. Really? Really? That's like so much of a hint. I feel like they're screaming at me. You can blow that up. Maybe you can blow it up with grenades, because there's a thing of unlimited grenades here. You gotta be kidding me. This, this is such a tease. Are the grenades for this? Okay. I guess it's sensitive to a very particular type of explosive. Huh. Weird. That is really weird. so I can just get to the other side anyway. I guess this is just a hint that there is another side, not that you can blow it up. Still very strange. Back to the streets. Load him up. Oh, shit. Well, I'm definitely dead. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna shoot me. Yeah. My god, that thing can take some hits. Wow. So I know it has a weak point on its back. I don't know if it's worth going for that or just blasting the hell out of it. Um, either way, I need to keep my distance, obviously, so I'm going to run to the other side.
Shit. Nope, nope, nope. if I should take this thing with me. Maybe. Is there a recharge station? That's hinting to me that I can get to the other side. Oh, I can probably just get under there, actually. My compression thingy. I think I got basically all the equipment here. Let's grab this and instead of going under, let's go over. Sounds like someone is putting up a fight. Clan Leader Williams' Letter, 9th of April, 1949. My respected friend, Frank, I understand that you may disagree with many of the Germans' policies. Yes, they are socialists, that is a fact. But they believe in protecting the white race from moral rot and cultural degeneration. And frankly, they won the war. The time has come to pick a side. Uh, okay, you can read this if you'd like. just wondering how far up I can get. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go that way. But, can I get all the way up here? Wow. Look at this. Look at that wall. Probably shouldn't be bringing this gun with me so far, but... Eh. Never mind. It's a very good thing that I brought it. Oh, shit. Right, I don't have any ammo for that thing. Shit. The comp pistol. Where did that thing go? Oh, I just got some comp pistol ammo. Nice. Is it above me? Below me? Ah, screw it, I'm just going out here. I think I just gotta defeat all the enemies. Or maybe I can just go over here. Nah, alright. <laughs> Let's get that damn thing. Where is it? It sounds like it's maybe stuck somewhere. Like it got stuck in one of the holes. these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terrible hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? 
I recovered. Well, Terra Billy don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clara on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking lit. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said, <laughs> Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, Terry Billy, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. You're too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it! Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wines, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy. 
Easy now, easy. Here you go. Just mind the temper. Gordon, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! Holy hell. All right, we got to stop for like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. No, it won't take that long, but whew, a lot of stuff just happened there. And wow, that was like sensory overload. Holy crap, that scene where they're arguing and drinking while someone's sniping in the background and someone else is playing the flute or... God. Huh. Okay. I like that there's... Now, I think that's the second character in the uh, the series anyway, not in the specific game, but the second character in the series that's told Blaskowitz how... Basically, well, go fuck yourself, you're full of shit. Just a, you know, a jarhead, because he is. He is. He has been, and he still is. That is exactly him. Horton was 100% right with basically everything that he said. I like that it's not just... I mean, Blaskowitz still spouts off his patriotic American bullshit, but I like that there's someone there to actually tell him that it is bullshit. Okay, we get to ride one of these freaking metal dogs. Hell yeah. Also... I need to all tab out because I'm pretty sure I recognize the voice actor for Horton. Yeah, I was right. I thought so. So the voice actor who plays Horton in here is Christopher Heyerdahl, who I recognize from a bunch of different... Um, he, he's been in a lot of sci-fi TV shows. And I almost didn't quite recognize him because he sounds kind of different here than he often has in a lot of things. Um, he typically has a he has a really interesting voice, and it's typically fairly deep and kind of raspy. And I've never heard him put on uh, whatever sort of an accent he was doing here. I don't know if that was a New Orleans accent or I'm not sure what really, but I've never heard him do that sort of an accent. And he didn't really sound particularly raspy or or super deep, so he was sounding a bit different from how he usually does. But but yeah, he's a really good actor and really interesting too. Just he's. He's interesting to look at and to listen to because he sounds very like his voice is very unique. Um, he's also he also has this very weathered and uh, uh, I, I guess just kind of massive look to him because he's extremely tall. I'm not sure exactly what his height is, but he's very very tall. Huh. Anyway, all right, let's ride this doggy. Let's read the tutorial for the doggy. Panzerhund uses the same control configuration as regular movement. Left click for flamethrower. Left control to climb off. Okay. Let's see what this puppy can do. Oh, that's so cool looking. I have no idea where I'm going. Freaking flamethrower. Or, or whatever this thing is. Canister. Shooter.
Holy shit, there's so many people. Oof. I'm just getting tons of Battle Walker kills. I'm just on my Battle Walker way back here in the distance. Just leaning over to the side. Nice. I think that might be it. Yeah, so I got the first level of the Battle Walker thing. That's not here, that's actually a perk. So that's going to give me 10% increased amount of ammunition from enemy dropped weapons. Nice. Next one's 20%. Cool. Jesus. Okay, you can just go this way. Oh my god, are they just gonna keep coming? Maybe they are, maybe I just need to keep moving. Alright, I guess we're going to shotguns. Ooh, that's a big battle scene. Okay. Let's take this slow. Uh, what do I got for ammo? Still nothing for this thing. Shit. Uh, right, that explodes automatically if you do wielding it. I was doing, like, nothing. Um, pump pistol? Got one shot of that thing. All right. Oh Jesus! Shit. Let me gather some ammo. All right, I got a little bit more stuff, sort of. Still not for the assault rifle, which is what I really want. Probably helped. Okay, I think that was everything. I got a new objective. Collected some supplies. Um, I think I'm supposed to go through the catacombs, which is probably this, the sewers. But I did find this over here. Paris Jack is back. November 8th, 1948, New Orleans. Louisiana's most renowned clarinet players returning for a gig at the New Orleans Club All That Jazz. Wait, isn't that person that was playing music while we were shooting? Or while that sniper was shooting? Uh, Paris Jack himself seems jazzed up in anticipation of the evening. My first ever time jam session on stage was at All That Jazz, so returning there together with the Catalan band feels like coming full circle after all these years. New Orleans' small, dark, smoke-filled clubs is where I grew up as a musician. Paris Jack was born in New Orleans and started playing the clarinet when he was just eight years old. Music is a place I go to find true peace, something the world is in dire need of these days.
Ooh. Oh, look at that atmosphere. That is gorgeous. Okay, just an alternative entrance. Where does this go, though? Oh, I think that goes to the sewers. Nice. That was definitely worth it. I needed those things. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.